A cold case in Kansas City, Kansas is getting some new attention and some high technology. Yeah, police need help identifying a woman who was discovered nearly 40 years ago in the Argentine neighborhood. Fox 4's Monica Castro is live at the KCK Police Headquarters tonight. And Monica, police have now released a facial reconstruction image of the victim. That they have, and that woman was found in a wooded area in the Argentine neighborhood, as you mentioned, in 1984. So a long time has passed since she was discovered, but they're hoping that by releasing this new photo or releasing this photo, that they'll get some fresh new leads and tips to help identify who she is. For nearly 40 years, the identity of this woman has been a mystery for the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department. But now its cold case unit is taking a deeper look at her case. With this particular case, what we know is uh, what we need to do is identify a person first before we can move forward with uh, the remainder of the investigation. KCK police discovered her body on April 26, 1984, in a wooded area near the Argentine neighborhood. Police believe the victim was about 20 to 25 years old with dark brown hair. Based on the bone structure, she is believed to be white or possibly mixed with Native American, Asian, or Hispanic ancestry. We're hoping that through uh, the facial recognition or reconstruction, that some of those people that knew her back then who were probably right around 50, maybe even 60 years old today would recognize her and with hopes that she would contact the police department to be able to give us a name. KCK Police Department's cold case unit started this past January and has about 300 cold cases. Its detectives hope to identify this woman and feel that this specialized unit can solve this nearly 40 year homicide. I can tell that they're motivated and rejuvenated just going over some of these older cases um, to be able to use technology today that they didn't have back then. If you have any information about the woman that was pictured in this story, you're asked to call the tips hotline or you can email the cold case unit and I'll have both of those contact information with this story on our website. John Christel.